हेलो लर्नर्स आई एम डॉक्टर आनंद वर्धन आई एम ए फैकल्टी एट स्कूल ऑफ हेरिटेज रिसर्च एंड मैनेजमेंट अंबेडकर यूनिवर्सिटी दिल्ली आई विल डिस्कस टुडे द सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ म्यूजियम मैनेजमेंट एंड कम्युनिकेशन द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दिस डिस्कशन इंक्लूड्स द फॉलोइंग सब्जेक्ट्स म्यूजियम मैनेजमेंट म्यूजियम कम्युनिकेशन एंड information technology which are used by museums for the purpose of effective communication museum management means optimum use of human and material resources that a museum consists of basically management is a creative process for achieving the highest goals all museums intend to work for society therefore they need a well framed policy for managing all of its resources i mean cultural archaeological and historical resources to develop technical expertise and to offer people better means of communication the glenbow museum canada was the first museum in the world that developed a management policy its success attracted other museums to work on management policy museums all over the world adopt policy for creative management and also total quality management creative management aims to manage all round support of museum personnel for achieving success while total quality management includes all factors of management for making museum public friendly and effective in terms of social communication for this purpose the develop proper infrastructure and a set of modern technologies museum communication is aimed at achieving interpretation of various facts about the exhibits for educational and learning process the role of museum as educators is built on three main concepts interpretation communication and education communication in particular can be understood as a cultural process of negotiating meaning which produces in reality through symbolic system such as text objects artworks maps and working models in museums that can educate people about history culture art anthropology and sciences interactive display and multimedia presentation in museum is highly significant the development of information technology and computer networking system can play a major role in interactive display in museums so far various methods have been used to simply provide information about the exhibits the objects incorporated with the embedded sensors can be modified as interactive type of display so that visitors can ask questions of their choice and clarify directly to the objects which cloud could reply quickly in conventional display system objects are grouped together with little interpretation and very little information provided in the levels moreover multilingual visitors may not assimilate the message of the level which is written in single language this type of display is most common in all types of museums all over the world because it requires very little thoughts and efforts future technology of learning in museums will be enabling the digital documentation of objects coupled with multimedia presentation so i mean to say the role of multimedia computer and various forms of information technologies are increasing day by day 
as integral part of museum display. Innovation shifts the documentation into a presentation paradigm from a screen based presentation to digital presentation in 3D perspective with high resolution of surroundings may be created with light and sound programs. Although the present system of headphones recorded with commentary is more effective than the silent communication of the objects showcased in museums, they may also be soon replaced by the embedded technology incorporated with network communication system to enable the advantages of a live intelligent guide. The modern electronic gadgets like digital hearing aids, cell phone and palm top can assimilate information from the network communication system through Bluetooth technology and when it is held in hand and pressed the button for recorded voice or ask the question of the object for unfolding the desired information. This kind of implements are really very beneficial and they are more effective than a uh, guide lecturer pro lecture program in museum galleries. The range of embedded system application is really very wide and it is limited only human imagination. Embedded technology has become a part of our daily lives, yet most of us are not aware of it. It is found in consumer electronic devices, automobile, networking equipment and industrial control system in one form or the other. In the future, this technology promises to play a greater role not only in museums but also in our daily lives. Imagine a scenario, we are visiting a museum in hurry mood but interested to know the details of some object or to see some more galleries, but we have no time to read the labels or study all the exhibits in details. Still, we can access the data through simply pointing out PDA that is personal digital assistant at the corner of the label and downloading the information such as website addresses barcodes and other details over the infrared. Afterwards, we can synchronize the PDA at free time and enjoy the missed events and thus saving our precious time. To make such a smart intelligent products in museums, we have to design our objects in a very efficient manner which could be linked to our handset and mobile devices through Bluetooth technology. It is important to note that 3D technology and virtual museums are becoming popular day by day. The face of virtual online museum is entering another paradigm shift. While the emphasis has been on expanding access to museums via the use of interactive web based presentation, online virtual museums will be online immersive 3D rendered environments that place the museum patron in the actual space of a current or past exhibit. The created realities of methodology take current commercial approaches to provide contextually accurate software derived 3D environments. This interface creates a true immersive environment that places the pattern in the museum space while providing necessary access to information on the exhibits. The development and maintenance of a virtual museum is an ideal way to provide a student centered constructivist learning environment. It allows students to make choices about what they want to study and provide meaningful topics that incorporate academics and culture while providing a way to get families and the community involved in their education. 
after talking to museum curators one of the more powerful reasons for creating online virtual museums in the ability to capture a snapshot of the work accomplished and allows visitors to continue to visit the presented exhibit for some time in the future the work of organizing displaying explaining artifacts in a meaningful way is not lost when exhibit is closed and replaced by the next one many times we have heard from museum patrons about their disappointment on missing an exhibits 3d created reality is the next logical step in museum presentation beyond web based internet technology we are using different kinds of modalities modes mechanism and technologies in our museum friends we must know that museum is the most effective media for cultural communication in this regard touch screens and anima matrix are very important technologies a touch screen is an electronic visual display that the user can control through simple or multi touch gestures by touching the screen with one or more fingers some touch screens can also detect objects such as a stylus or ordinary especially coated gloves the user can use the touch screen to react to what is displayed and to control how it is displayed the touch screen enables the user to interact directly with what is displayed rather than using a mouse touch pad or any other intermediate device apart from touch screen robotics has remarkably played a wonderful role in promoting museum education among young generation of people robotics technology deals with the design construction operation and application of robots as well as computer systems for their control sensory feedback and information processing mobile robots ground ethereal computation to palpable physicality and as a result they have the potential to excite and inspire children and adults in way that no desktop computer can humanoid robots themselves make an inherently fascinating hydro dynamical system for a study and comprehension at the same times they are also excellent facilitators for the study of fields as diverse as software engineering and natural sciences are we will discuss haptic technology that is equally popular in the field of museum display new technology from the area of virtual reality now allows computer users to use their sense of touch to feel virtual objects touch is a very powerful sense but it has so far been neglected in computing a state of the art haptic or force feedback devices allow users to touch and feel virtual objects with a high degree of realism an artifact surface properties can be modeled so that someone using a haptic device could feel it as a solid three dimensional objects with different textures hardness and softness this means it gives you a very realistic kind of experience this realistic experience is undoubtedly very significant for visually challenged visitors of museums the haptic technology device could have a large impact on museums for instance making very fragile objects available to scholars allowing visitors who live far from museums to feel objects at a distance letting visually impaired and blind people feel exhibits 
that are normally behind glass and allowing museums to show off array of artifacts that are currently in storage due to lack of space. In all these respect, haptic technology is remarkably important. Haptic technology provides the possibility of widening access to information and artifacts housed in museums can be used for the purpose of offering people real experience of touching the historically significant objects. Haptic for force feedback devices allow people to use their sense of touch in computer based applications. Until recently, most computer based simulations of objects were visual. Haptic display is uh, nowadays becoming popular in all the nooks and corners of the museum world. Devices that provide simulations of objects suitable for manual exploration and manipulations are part of haptic display. These are parallel to that of a computer screen. Once we have a natural haptic display, we will be able to touch objects that are either too delicate or too distant to touch directly. The access provided by touch can be extremely intimate and evocative. When we have integrated touch into digital interaction with collection catalogs, we will have fundamentally transformed museum visitors relation both physical and wave based with museum artifacts and between each other. Haptic sensors are very important for all museum curators and museum visitors. These are, they are devices that respond to information gained from the forces of users interactions. These are parallel to scanners and cameras that gather visual information about the object. Museum visitors would be able to feel the objects from the collection and even get a sense of how they were produced. Machine haptic can involve both the simulation and the simulation of the human haptic system through virtual environment in which the human interacts with a computer based synthetic environment and teleportation in which the human operates on the real environment at a distance through interface devices. Both the human and the computer system have sensors which we can term as nerves and encoders, processors which can be termed as brain of the computer and actuators which form the muscle and work as motor system. The machine haptic system mirrors and extends the human haptic system. This is why in terms of real and simulated experience, the use of haptic system in museum is really praiseworthy. Now we are going to discuss hologram and the system as an important part of museum display in the modern world. Friends, holograms are images recorded by using laser light which can be seen in three dimensions without a special eye wear. While many will be familiar with embossed holograms as security devices on credit cards. This kind of mass application hardly does justice to the quality of three dimensional imaging that applications until the early 1960s when laser were laser technologies were being developed. Color holography offers a route to novel display, a route to novel display techniques and it enables artifacts too fragile for normal display to be shown. 
it is applicable not only to three dimensional objects, but also may be used for two dimensional objects such as oil paintings, manuscripts, etc. Hologram will not fade or change colors even if they are continuously on display, suggesting a potential application for the reproduction and exhibition of vulnerable textiles. Overall, holography offers a mean of reproducing rare or high value artifacts so that they can be displayed under circumstances where normal museum protocols would prevent their exhibitions. So, friends, we will try to sum up the discussion of the today. We have discussed in detail about the adaptation of various forms of information technology which help in promotion of education, promotion of learning in museum. In this regard, we have discussed in details uh, the haptic technology, the robotics and its use and also holography as an important technology which is very much helpful in providing visitors wonderful experience within the environment of museums. In this lecture, we have understood how modern technology plays vital role in communication. You have to remember that the primary duty of a museum is to cultivate awareness and bring a desirable change in society. In this respect, communication is the most powerful medium to make people aware about their historicity, their history, culture and the achievement made by their forefathers in the hoary past. We have learned the role of information technology in museum education, which is a vital issue today. In fact, modern museums are supposed to be technology oriented and this is the reason that in all the museums now you will find that there are different computer and information based programs. We place touch a screen so that you can understand in prolific way and in simulated way the history of the objects which have been displayed in museums. In fact, modern museums are supposed to be technology oriented. Basically, museum is a media. Therefore, in managing museums, role of modern means of communication is always significant. We have seen in this particular lecture that how museums are adopting new technologies, whether it is touch screen or it is haptic technology or it is all about robotics and animometrics. Museums programs and the whole continuum of education that they provide offers to us sublimated experience friends. This sublimated visual experience in museum is enlightening. Museums enlighten us to different modes of communication and the effective communication is dependent on a proper well framed program of management. Thank you. Thank you very much.